Are you currently struggling using AI to do deep research? And the results you're getting here from AI are highly inaccurate. And the AI researcher doesn't really support any files formats like PPT, PDF, Excel sheets, and more. Or maybe you are looking to generate a professional research report, but the AI researcher here that you use are simply just giving you plain text. Well, that's why in this video, I'm going to show you a special tool called Skywork AI, where this tool can help you to solve all that. And I'm also going to show you how it actually compares this with other large language models out there. In terms of the agenda for this video, first, I'm going to show you how you can be able to use this tool to do deep research. And I'm also going to compare the results with other large language model research tools out there. And then second, I'm also going to show you how you can be able to generate a PowerPoint slides using Skywork, where it has images, data visualizations, different themes for the PowerPoints that you can present to your teams or audience. And then I'm also gonna show you how you can be able to analyze the custom data that you have. Maybe you have like an Excel sheet of sales data that you want to analyze and you can be able to pass this data to Skywork and it can automatically analyze that for you. And lastly, I'm also gonna show you this new feature came out from Skywork where I can be able to summarize any videos on YouTube Let's say if you have like a boring video that you don't want to watch and you can be able to have AI here to summarize the video for you. But not only that, it can also help you to create a flow charts, mind map, or anything that you could think of using this amazing tool called Skywork AI. So with that being said, if you're interested for this video, let's dive in. All right, so before we jump in, a quick intro for those who are new here. My name is Eric and I have spent years as a senior software engineer at companies like Amazon, AWS, and Microsoft and I have started this YouTube channel to share everything I have learned along the way, from AI encoding to automations, Web3, career developments, and more, all broken down into practical tutorials that you can actually follow. So if you're ready to level up, make sure to check out my YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so first thing first, we navigate to skywork.ai and here you can see this is what the homepage look like. So after we navigate to the homepage and log into the application, here you can see that there is a documents feature where we're going to do a deep research on a topic. So here you can see from the prompts, let's say if I want to do a business report for a business idea that I have, here you can see this is the prompt and instructions that I provided. So basically we want to build a market application for meal prep for a application that will feature multiple local fitness meal vendors and then below here, you can see that there are different types of section for the reports, like the market size, the consumer profiles, as well as the competitor, and also the financial, as well as regulatory and trends. So once we find out those sections, right, once we define those section for the requirements, then we can also choose the deep mode and also enable the search engine option. And now if we were to send this request to Skywork, you can see that Skywork here received the request and start organizing information and provide the results. So after a bit, you can see that it's generating a to-do list, which you can see here. So here you can see this is a to-do list basically on how it's gonna do the report or the deep research. So here are the list of to-dos. So the market research, data collections, and that's gonna be the first step. Then we also have the competitive financial analysis, regulatory, strategic, and research. Also the report for the compilation. So after it's gonna do or follow this to-do list to generate the whole thing, we can see here that Skywork AI started to call some different MCP servers like search the web and also analyze images from the web to basically extract those informations. So here you can see it's calling multiple MCP tools and multiple resources to do the research. So let's wait for a bit until it fully generates the results. But just for comparison, I have also opened Claude here, which currently I have turned on for Opus 4 and also enable the research mode. So now if I were to paste the same prompt that I give for Skywork, and let's see what also the result look like for Claude research as well. So if I were to send this request, you can see that Claude is also doing the research. And here I'm also gonna do the same for Gemini as well for the deep research mode. And here you can see I paste the same prompts and let Gemini to do the deep research as well. And as a result, for all three deep research tools, you can see that this is what the result look like for Claude, which Currently, you can see that these star summaries, right, different section of the reports. And if you were to look at Gemini, you can see that this is what it looks like for the report. And now if you were to look at Skywork, you can see that it's much different. So first thing first, you can see there's start with the title. And here you can see it contains different sections. But what's really interesting for Skywork is that it contains images about the reports as well as different hyperlinks for the documentation. And of course, we can also download this on a PDF version, HTML, and also even docs version. And here you can see this what the report look like after we download this. So you can see that we have images and we also have different types of data visualizations for the charts right so here you can see we can be able to visualize the data so we can also be able to have a visualization to view the target persona for the key purchasing drivers like different types of people who are purchasing this product like the busy millennial professionals the dedicated fitness enthusiasts and also the health conscious students so these are all really important stats that we need to know by simply using data visualization to demonstrate those data here 
And here you can see we can also have images, tables, right? This view, you know, not just the, our competitors, but where we stand, right? Where our product stands based on this product ID we have. And at the end, you can see that it lists out all the references that it used to generate this entire research. So pretty much overall, you can see that Skywork here does a lot better compared to tools like Gemini or even Claude because it not only gives you the research data that's being crawled from different websites, but it also gives you data visualizations and professional looking research reports that you can download in different formats. And also you can see there are all the references linked in the bottom of the page. And of course, you can also take this one step further by basically generate this whole thing into a PowerPoint slides. And basically that's exactly what I did for Skywork. Here you can see I changed the agent to PowerPoint slides, which here you can see it organized the information. And here you can see it started asking me some questions to clarify the requirements to generate to-do lists on how it's gonna generate the slides. And eventually here you can see that we have our PowerPoint slides, which we can be able to view and be able to present this to the investors or the team members. So here you can see this is what the PowerPoint slides look like. So we have images, we have numbers, stats, bullet points, icons, different graphs, and even images that we can take a look at here. So pretty much you can see that we can use this PowerPoint slides and be able to present this PowerPoint slides that we can present to the team or even the investors. Now, of course, we can also have Skywork here to do the data analysis. So let's say if I were to upload the sales data for 2025, it started to use different MCV tools to look at the sheets, start to ask me some clarification questions, and then generate a to-do list on how it's going to do the data analysis and the Excel sheet production. So now you can see that it starts to look at these things and here you can see that this is the regional sales analysis the data analysis reports that it generates so here you can see this this is the excel sheet data right so it contains total sales by region and also the sales in different quarters and also gives you a data analysis report based on that excel sheet that it, that it did and then here you can see it also summarized the key findings and so much more all right so so far we have to take a look at the documents the slides also the sheets features for Skywork. We can also do a lot more things with the new feature from Skywork, which is the YouTube feature, where we can be able to learn from YouTube videos and be able to generate summaries, documents, slides, podcasts, even mind maps, flowcharts, and many more. So here you can see I basically passed a video from my YouTube channel to basically tell Skywork here to summarize this video. So here you can see that Skywork here received this request and start to summarize the video step by step and creating a step-by-step -step guide that I can follow from this video. So let's say you have a tutorial, a very long tutorial, or maybe like a class video, and you want to be able to summarize this video step-by-step, you can be able to use Skywork here to do so. So here you can see, here's a summary of the YouTube video using Playwright with Claw Co for visual front end development. And here you can see that this is a step-by-step -step guide to how to get started with Playwright and Claw Code. So these are the commands that I ran. These are how we can be able to verify the installations and here is how we can be able to set up based on the video instructions, right? And here you can see, I can even have Skywork here to generate a flow chart like what we just saw based on these steps that we have collected. And eventually you can see that the Skywork here has organized the information and here is what a flow chart look like. So here you can see these are the step-by-step -step guide on how we can be able to do this, right? First thing first, we install the Playwright MCP server, verify the changes, and be able to set up the visual testings in the called MD file. And here you can see basically these are the steps it takes to have a fully complete workflow with the Playwright MCP server, right? So that's exactly what I talked about in that video. And pretty much you can use the UVibe agent from Skywork here to basically complete this process to basically summarize the videos, generate flow charts, and be able to use different types of various formats to display the data we want. All right, so pretty much that's it for this video to review the product for Skywork, which we went over how we can be able to create a detailed, very professional research reports using the deep agent from Skywork. Also how we can be able to generate professional PowerPoint slides with data, images, and all kinds of themes inside of the slides. And then we also take a look at how we can be able to do data analysis with the Sheets features. Also take a look at the new feature release from Skywork, which is the UVI, where it can be able to learn from YouTube videos and be able to generate mind maps or docs and all kinds of formats that we like. So that's it for this video. If you do found value in this video, please make sure to like this video, consider subscribing for more content like this, but with that being said, I will see you in the next video.